let us see if we can copy uh, the information from one key figure to another and what settings I need to do uh, in my copy operator uh, profile, right? So we'll start with that first and then we'll move to the MPI. And then if time permits, uh, we also talk about ABC segmentation. Let me stop sharing for a minute before I log into the system. All I can do is I can search. I can find copy. We'll open a copy operator profile setting. Can There are certain existing copy operators. What we can do is we can create a new one to start with, right? So there are two options. Whenever you want to copy, if you are working with multiple planning areas and you want to integrate the data from one planning area into another planning area, you can create a copy operator between planning areas. But in our case, we want to copy the data within the planning area. So we'll use the option of the, the first option here. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Just mention copy underscore sales. Sales copy to market. I can also mention whether the filter is optional or mandatory. <coughs> uh, you would realize once you create this copy operator, and let's say this copy operator can be executed in two ways. One is via background job periodically, second via user interactively, right? If we keep the user filter as optional, the implication of it is let's say you have two business lines uh one for let's say uh product group one and second one for product group two however you are only responsible for product group one right if you do not apply a filter and if this copy operator gets executed uh for a wider range you will end up missing the other data which was not under your portfolio, right? So for certain cases, you can keep the option of filter as mandatory. So uh, when it copies, it will overwrite the existing values. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. okay. If there are multiple key figures, if you want to copy that in sequence, you can also check this checkbox. Now here it asks you what source key figure and target key figure it needs to get applied. So let's get into the details here. I type sales, quantity as a source, and Z market as a target key figure. Right, we can say values from existing periods or even past periods or anything uh, greater than or less than filter you want to apply. So we say, okay, the existing periods, right? And then at what level I want to copy it, right? So it says by default, it is proposing at lowest level product location and customer. You can say I want to copy it at a product and country level also. That is also fine. Yeah, we'll keep it at the lowest level here. In what period is it you want to copy it, right? So our base planning level is technical weeks. So let's copy it in technical weeks. You can also copy it in aggregated level also. Not a problem. And then you can click on apply. So key figure selection is applied. This is very important. We are, where we are saying that which is the source key figure, which is the target key figure, at what 
level I want to copy the data, right? And in which periodicity I want to copy the data. Time selection, you can say rolling with flexible rolling time selection. For example, it when you run it this week, you want to run it from this week onwards, then you put it into next week, you want to roll forward the period to next week. Okay, so that can that option is also available. You can select rolling information here. A user can change it while executing it interactively. Okay. Let's go back and say no time selection. Right. And if I go to the I don't know why it's not available. Yeah. If I go to the attribute selection, you can also put an inbuilt filter here. Right? That it should be only applied for specific uh business unit or for specific uh, product line group and so on. Right? So here, let me give only a filter of uh, unit of measure. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Let's take a note of this. Go back to the views. Maybe I go to the any of the existing views. Let's log up. I need to log in for a minute. Just a point to be noted: if you have multiple templates already open in your under your Excel, right, and you had logged off. And you're trying to log in it takes time for system to log in again because it tries to accept that template information and then it keeps on giving you a message that the template is going to be refreshed or the data view is going to be refreshed so uh, at times we have to remember that keep as many as less uh, sessions open from the excel ui perspective let me share my screen back. Let's see if I have the operator available. 